Welcome to the Friday, August 14th, 2015 edition of Erner Barry's Market Video, sponsored by Erner Barry's Prospector. In today's video, we look at how rising beef prices are driving innovation in the burger industry. Then later, Russia extends its seafood import ban to Iceland. But first, with a look at this week's retail analysis, here's your host, Jamie Chadwick. Mid-August can sometimes struggle to identify its position in retail, balancing between summer themes and back to school, along with the return of fall foods just on the horizon. Well, that's, that's As such, we see a little bit of everything throughout store circulars during this time. From summer grilling items like strip steaks to end cuts geared for fall roasts, we seem to have the best of both worlds in mid to late August. In addition, Back to School promotes the frozen sector, marketing easy meals and snacks for busy families. Frozen chicken, meatballs, pizza and other entrees are getting a major boost this week throughout most chains. For the complete retail report, including price comparisons and analysis, subscribers can read more by heading over to Comtel. Next up, Russia is extending its seafood import ban to Iceland. SeafoodNews.com staff writer Michael Ramsing is here to tell us more. Russia has added Iceland to its list of countries banned from shipping seafood to its market. The ban is a result of Iceland being among the countries that agreed to extend Europe's sanctions against Russia for its involvement in the Ukraine. Iceland's mackerel, herring, and capelin exports will be the seafood items most affected by Russia's decision to shut them out of the market. Last year, <coughs> Iceland exported 39,000 tons of mackerel, 44,000 tons of herring, and 22,000 tons of capelin to the market. The ban is also expected to hurt market access for Icelandic herring and capelin row shipments to Russia. All of these products will now have to move to different markets since Russia is also cracking down on transshipments through alternative countries to avoid the import bans. Read more about the Russian ban at seafoodnews.com and get more seafood commodity market news, expert commentary and analysis by signing on to the seafood tab in Comtel. Thanks, Michael. We now take a look at how rising beef prices are driving burger industry innovation. Here's Ernerberry account manager Adam Sharkey with the story. With the majority of consumers eating burgers at least weekly, the popular entree remains a staple of the American diet. Amid recent hurdles of rising beef prices and negative health perceptions, Technomics Burger Consumer Trend Report outlines key areas of opportunity relating to innovations that improve health and quality perceptions while maintaining a strong value proposition. Technomics report also reveals that on a weekly basis, 39% of consumers purchase burgers from fast food restaurants and 39% make them at home. 61% of consumers say it is important to be able to customize the toppings or condiments and 43% prioritize build your own burgers. For findings and other news from the center of the plate, please visit foodmarket.com. Thanks, Adam. That concludes today's show. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Prospector Online is a must-have tool designed to help you explore and evaluate new business opportunities in the protein market. Customize searches based on a specific criteria that fits your needs. Call or email us today to learn how you can unlock the possibilities at prospector.earnerberry.com.